Hey guys and welcome to the Scale. So it's been a while since I've given you a true gem of a software and I do believe that this is one of the best tools to convert your YouTube videos into articles and I am fully backing this tool, I'm recommending this tool and I'm using this tool myself. So what you learn from this video is as follows. I'll give you my perspective on why video to article is the future of SEO as far as content creation at least. Then we'll look at the tool in question, show you how to write a a perfect video to article article <laughs> and then in the end i'll be giving away special settings and a huge discount code for you to try out this new and amazing tool so let's get started first of all i've been preaching video to article for quite a while now when i started with my trickminot.ai website many of my first articles were based on my videos so this approach is extremely relevant more relevant even today for the following reasons so first off the contents that you can convert from YouTube to articles is most likely unique, at least when this is your video that you are converting, then most likely it will be highly readable by default, because we as humans, we tend to use simple English. And what is even more important is the whole information gain concept. Most of the time, these uh, YouTube videos bring new and additional information absent from the SERPs. To show you a simple example, this is an article I published almost six months ago. Agility Writer AI versus SEO Writing AI, who wins in 2024. And this is entirely based on, on a video, which is this video here. And as you can see, it has tables, has screenshots from my whiteboard that I use in my videos. This is the keywords. And yeah, I'm ranking number one with both my article and the video. And I have the feature snippet as well. And by the way, if you want to get your hands on SEO writing, you can. With my coupon code, you get 30% off, which is the highest discount available on the entire internet. Now, you might be wondering, this is an extremely low competition keyword. Does this bring any traffic? Let's go to my search console. This is the page. TrickMeNote.ai, Agility Writer AI versus SEO Writing AI. And as you can see, this is getting constant traffic. Not a lot, but uh, this is only one article and I have uh, almost 100 articles on my website as of now. And with this new tool that I'm about to review, you can write these kinds of articles. So this is Turnitin can detect this AI writer in 2024, bypass Turnitin with SEO Writing AI. You get a video embed. You get table of contents, this is not a plugin, this is straight from the tool. You get screenshots that you can change, lists, lots of screenshots, again, that you can change at any time. A table, internal links, screenshots, headings, everything is properly structured, H2s, H3s, another table, some more internal links, and this is a 1500 word piece of content, extremely detailed, and this is what you get with this tool. Enough of this teasing nonsense, the tool in question is video to block, and this tool is still in development, so expect some roughness around the edges, but the sheer amount of thought that went into this tool, the amount of features that go with this tool is just amazes me. So you get lots of free tools, uh, transcript downloader, video description generator, shorts and clips generator, ideas generator. And the tool is very inexpensive. So if you go to price into monthly, the minimum is 14 bucks per 250 credits. And you spend credits on everything. So you have a suite of possible features and solutions inside of the tool. Some of them you get uh, by default and some of them you have to pay extra for. But let's just note this down, the 14 dollars per 250 credits. This makes it roughly 5 cents per credit credit and uh, we will need this information to calculate the cost of the article. So let's go to the tool. As you can see I've generated a couple of articles myself but to show you how it works from the beginning let's go to create blog. Let me recreate the process that I used. So the latest video that I did was this one about SEO writing, pass and turn it in. So let me insert the, the video URL. And then we'll go to advanced options. So all these are saved as defaults uh, because I know how I like my articles. <laughs> but let's just go from option to option. First quality, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, and this is GPT 4.0. Then length, I usually go for medium, which is plus 10 credits. 
language English format blog post. They did not have that format by default, so I had to add it. Then tone energetic, point of view first person, primary key phrase, then additional instructions. I experimented with a few setups and the shorter prompts were the best. All this is going to be in the description. So you know, use simple English to 100% match Flash King Kate 6th to 8th grade reading level. Use formatting like bolts or italics as well as relevant emojis for emphasis. Add tables to better present the data and statistics. Then we have another set of options, add screenshots, always yes. Generate an AI featured image. If you choose generate AI featured image, your video is not going to be embedded. So you either generate the featured image yourself and then embed the video, or you generate the featured image elsewhere and the video is going to get embedded by default. Hope I'm making sense. So by default, I have this off. Then use premium transcriptions and it says this will transcribe the video using our premium service assembly AI which results in higher quality and more accurate blocks. To be quite honest I have not experimented with toggling this on and off and comparing the quality. I just have it on by default but if you find out that uh, the regular transcription is just as good you won't need to have that. Then generate SEO metadata, this means uh, meta description. Then this is extremely interesting, generate email, social media posts. So you have the ability to generate these supporting pieces of short form content to boost the rankings of your target content, your pillar content, which is the article. Add FAQ sections. I don't do FAQ sections anymore. Add table of contents, and this is free. And if you have a plugin, turn it off. If you don't have a plugin, you can turn it on. Embed video. So once again, if you have this on, but you also have on the featured image, it won't work. Add custom footer, and this is your option to insert the custom footer that you can have call to action in. Then use chapters as outline. This is extremely handy. Uh, so if this video has chapters, it will use it as an outline. Add custom outline. Again, an extremely handy feature, so you can have your outline written manually if you don't like what AI is spitting out. Include custom links. So I have this on. I have three of my main website links, which is the free torrenting check, the rating of different humanizer tools, and the AI detection prompt. Then include links from description. You can have this on as well. Add emojis. Uh, you can have this on, but I have emojis in my prompt. So it doesn't really matter if it's on or off. Let's just have this on. And yeah, once again, you can save this as default. So you don't have to do this uh, each and every time. And let's uh, click on create blog. Okay, this is our article. As you can see, this is a video embed. This is the table of contents. These are the screenshots. And the amazing thing about screenshots is that you can change them. So you can pick and choose whatever screenshot you want. For example, this one, you click on the button and the screenshot has changed. And video to blog has a very powerful editor. You can apply filters, you can fine tune by playing around with contrast, saturation, exposure. You can annotate. So let's say I want to write something down or I want to highlight something. So the color is red by default. And this is me highlighting this. You can decorate it. Let's say this is what I want. I click on done. And this is what my screenshot is going to look like and I can change everything. And as you can see, I already have tables. I'm getting a lot of internal links, but this is not all. You can then uh, go to export. So I have already WordPress integration set up. It's fairly easy to do by setting up the application passwords inside of your WordPress. Then you can just straight up copy as HTML, Markdown, or Word or PDF. You can share this to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, uh, whatever. And you have another <laughs> a little secret, which a whole suite of other tools. So let's go to promotions first. And this is uh, where you get all the different short form content for your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and even email to promote your post. You can assess the readability of your content. So this is currently five to six rate readability level and 1200 words. You can see how well it is optimized for my key phrase. So say my key phrase is does turn it in detect SEO writing. AI. And it's not a surprise that this article, this current article, is not optimized for this keyword. And I should be making changes. Uh, so let's just say, just insert this instead of my main heading. And maybe once in the intro. 
And as you can see, this is now switched to one. So I have my keywords in the intro. There are so many things you can do with this too. It's just not even funny. If you highlight any of the sections, you go to AI tools, you can change tone, you can emojify, you can fix spelling and grammar, you can simplify, which is extremely helpful. Let's say emojify, and it's edit a relevant emoji too. You get the meta title, you get a meta description as well. So once again, if you go to promotions, you can see the short term content. So this acts as a whole separate suite of tools. So you have a very rudimentary, but very helpful SEO optimization tool. Then you have your metadata here, you have your promotions here. And I don't think I've even mentioned all the tools inside of uh, video to block yet. So I promise to check readability. Let's go to Hemingway. And the readability with all of the links is grade seven, uh, which is amazing, amazing readability. What can you do to make this better? Uh, you would need obviously to go uh, through the content yourself. If I were you, I would choose custom outline because as you might have noticed, this current generation does not have a conclusion set Section, so that would be an easy fix. Then uh, I would delete half of the screenshots, then I would change another half of the screenshots to correspond with the uh, relevant paragraph. But this saves so much time, this is just uh, ridiculous. I want to see how many credits I have spent on this article, and it looks like I've only spent 11 credits. So open up a calculator, 11 credits times 0.056 which was the cost per credit. As you can see, the whole article with lots of additional features only cost us 60 cents. And now if you want to try this too, you need to follow my affiliate link down below. For those of you who do, uh, when you apply a coupon code, which is uh, WASVAS15, you get 15% off the first year of usage, which is amazing. So there you have it, guys. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.